I really don't like how that smells. Wait, 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 come back. I want to see the, the watering in your eyes. Look at me. <laughs> it's our first time in Bangkok. It's way too big of a city and we don't have a lot of time here. So we don't have anything set in stone to try. But our friend did tell us about the stinkiest fruit in the world that's famous in Southeast Asia. I guess it's so stinky, you can't even bring it into the hotel. Like they got signs up that you'll get like a 500 baht fine, which is, I don't know, it's not insignificant here. Yeah, it's like, what? Yeah, something. something like that. If you even bring it in the building. Yeah, so anyways, the local markets have got it. So we're gonna see if we can find it today. And uh, I guess we'll see if we like it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll see, I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Ready when you are. Okay. So it is first, hectic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so the first place we're checking out is called Sampang Market. It's the local wholesale market. I guess you gotta buy like 10 pair of shoes if you're actually gonna get anything here. But they do have fruits and vegetables and food stalls too. Hey Brandy, you wanna buy 10 pairs of crops? I kinda like them. They look comfortable. So the camera doesn't really capture the smell of this place. There's just so many spices and foods being cooked and incense. car exhaust and incense. It's just absolutely wild. It and smells, occasionally a cat. Yeah, occasionally a cat. It smells like Southeast Asia. It really does. It encapsulates it. I'm telling you, I gotta get out of the pan. What do you think? You actually want them. They'd be great for our next destination, I think. Zanka is hectic, it's crazy, there's so many people, you're bumping into things. I almost yeah. feel like this section has been like a giant Claire's. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right, Claire's market. Yeah. It's all accessories and headbands. Earrings. And weird colored wigs. And Anything you could pretty much want here. Except for Except for food. Fruit. Yeah, exactly. We've been walking for ever, and it's still going. But we haven't found what we're after. No, we haven't. Like, there's been a couple food things that are spursed in this, but I don't think we're quite in the right place in the market. Something I'm really digging about Bangkok is that it's such a cool mix of old and new. So, like, the neighborhood that we're staying in has a lot of the older, more rundown, kind of aesthetic, more traditional markets. And then other parts have been so modern, like as modern as like Tokyo, like just these elaborate shopping malls with brand new granite, like just shining, gleaming, brand new designer brands. And then you can go to a little market like that. So it's pretty cool. Fine, we still need to find durian food. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and other food. I'm so hungry. I don't even think we're in Chinatown anymore. I, I don't either. We've been walking so long, I think we're like almost to the old town. Like just when you think the markets end, you just walk into another town. This is like the most expansive set of markets I've ever seen. It's a flower market. It smells really good. It seems like we've stumbled into an extremely local neighborhood. I've not seen any foreigners. And some lady had a little stall where she was selling yeah. sticky rice, taro, and banana flavor. Did you order one of each? Yeah, I think. I don't know. I didn't know what to say, so I just used. You know, just pointed at it. Gestures. It works. Beautiful. I know. It seems like it was grilled in like what banana leaf. Uh huh. That's really good. It's a really mild sweetness, and the grilling made this like crunchy shell on the outside, and then it's really gooey on the inside. You want to try? Oh. <laughs> I could eat that every day. This is so delicious. Um, can I get one of these? Thank you. Okay, so for 25 baht, I got some sort of a green smoothie. Oh my goodness. That's super delicious. What is it? Um, I think it's like tea mixed with, I don't even know. It's really delicious. It's, it's fragrant and, and sweet. 
definitely tea. It almost tastes like a green and like a jasmine tea mix with some sort of fruit that, like, like you were saying, I, I don't know. But it's definitely tea. We gotta keep looking for our fruit, though. This looks helpful. I know. We're finding fruit. There's pomelo. Hello. I don't know what these are. Are these the custard? But I think it's the wrong season. I don't know. You could try one. Uh, how much for one? Uh, ten baht. Ten baht. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what this is. I've seen them everywhere, but I have really no idea. I've never tasted anything like this. The texture is kind of like a cross between like an apple and a grape. It has kind of like the crunch of the apple, but it's squishy like a grape at the same time. And is it sweet? The flavor is almost sour. Like a like a bitter sour apple. Whoa. Yeah. Crunchy like an apple. No aroma, really. Just a little bit of grassy, generic. Grassy is another good way to describe that. Yeah, plant flavor. <laughs> That's a little sweet, but not very. It's just... like nice and juicy. It has a nice crunch. Yeah, Brandy Googled it. It's called a rose apple. And I guess they're commonly served with a spiced sugar on top, which I think paired with that would go really well. Definitely. So. It wasn't very sweet. Yeah, next time we'll have to try that out. <laughs> but uh, gotta keep looking. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep looking. wandered back to the Chinatown area. I'm hopeful we'll find it here. I have a lot of shops selling all sorts of food. It's gotta be in here somewhere. So we found two places selling them. But they're super expensive. On the north end of the road, the first place we encountered, really expensive, like a thousand baht per package. And then we found one down at that fruit stand that was like 380. Yeah, and I guess if you go to this road here, Padung uh, Dao, they call it Soy Texas for some reason. That's where they're supposed to be the cheapest. So we're trying to get across this busy road, see if we can find it there. Yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get better than that. Well, I don't think we are. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so durian fruit, I guess, like cilantro, people have genes that make it taste really bad to some people and taste really good to others, right? So cilantro, some people think tastes like soap. And I think I'm a good candidate for this because it actually smells pretty good. It smells like, like citrus fruit. Right? To me, I can smell it from here and it smells like literally hot garbage. So I read about these a little bit and there's like different ripenesses. And this one, you can tell, is just about like ripe or maybe on overripe because it's squishy. Uh, I guess overripe is actually how a lot of people prefer them because it makes it like more fragrant. Oh yeah, that smells good. That Isn't literally it? smells so bad. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like making you nauseous. Oh, and it's, it's really soft, really oh soft. God. Let's try them. Oh, you really just went in for it. That is delicious. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the best, like gooey vanilla citrus. Like it's like ice cream. You gotta try it. I'm like nauseated by the smell. I'm not even lying. It's really? Really strong to me. <laughs> well, it's, it's delicious, so you're like missing out. It doesn't smell, I don't know, when it like wafts up, it smells like garbage. But when you get really close, it kind of smells like fresher garbage with maybe some garlic in it. <laughs> it's not really appealing. Uh, like if you left a pumpkin you carved out for maybe a few weeks and went and grabbed it, like look at that. <laughs> is it that bad? I really don't like how that smells. Wait, 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 come back. I want to see the, the watering in your eyes. Look at me. <laughs> it just smells horrible. It's to delicious. Me. Just put it in your mouth. It's, it's like really delicious.
Don't spit it out. Come on, roll it around on your tongue. Roll it around. Give it a try. Come on. Come on, swallow it. Come on. That tastes like garbage with garlic in it. Like exactly how it smells to me. It's not like, I don't know, some people describe it as like a rotting, it's not like rotting meat, but it's like if you put like, I don't know, you just had a bad piece of mushy garlic. I don't like that. No? No. Worst thing you've ever eaten? No. I'm pretty sure I ate it once in the Philippines, like literal, like, Literal. But this is pretty bad. It, it tastes like garbage to me. But you finish it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get this again. It's one of those things like truffles. Very divisive. I don't think truffles are that divisive. I really didn't like it. I'm not even like playing for the camera. Mm -hmm. I just think, oh, <laughs> vowel. Okay, well, anyways, folks, we're staying in Chinatown. So next video. We're gonna eat some more stuff on Chinatown. I think this is only the tip of the weird iceberg for us on this trip. I think so. So check back for it. Yeah, we're gonna get way outside our comfort zone. Like, way. I'll volunteer you.